Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. In my previous video, I have discussed about word size and components. And in this video, I will be discussing about issues and challenges. So, uh, there are three issues and challenges. So, first one is irregularity, second is ambiguity, and the third is productivity. So, let's discuss about each of this briefly now. So, first one is irregularity. So, what is mean by irregularity? So, uh, there are certain word forms which does not follow any regular patterns or rules in terms of their morphology or syntax. So, these kind of words are mainly uh, cause irregularity. So, uh, it is a huge challenge for algorithms when uh, dealing with this kind of word forms. So, what are actually uh, these word forms? So, uh, how can we actually uh, find out these word forms? Is, uh, there, I, there are many word forms like this. So, I have only described two of them. So, first one is irregular verbs or nouns. So, what if there is irregular verbs or nouns which does not follow a certain standard pattern? So, let me take an example. So, past, present, future, I have listed out this. So, the base word for uh, this is choose. And the base word for this is byte. Uh, and the base word for went is go. So actually, whenever you are uh, you are writing some past, present, future for choose, so that certain word will be appearing in past, present, and future. When you take uh, about this byte also, you uh, that certain word will be appearing in past, present, future. So whenever you uh, uh, in the case of go, so what actually that algorithm thinks it should be uh, goes right, go gone went gone. It should be in the kind in the form of uh, go gone goes like that only. But why it will be went? So in this kinds of words, the, the algorithm might face some difficulties in order to find what kind of way these words are. These words are nothing but irregular words. And then we will be having exceptional inflection. So what is this exceptional inflection? So it is mainly caused by comparative and superlative adjectives. So what is this comparative or superlative adjectives? So Take an example, big, bigger, biggest, dark, darker, darkest. So in these two words, it is uh, following a certain pattern, right? So whenever it is com uh, coming to comparative, it is uh, adding er at the last. And when it is coming to superlative, it will be adding est, est at the last. But when you take an example of good, better, best is this comparative and superlative adjectives of good. Uh, but what uh, the algorithm thinks is it should be gooder, goodest, like that it will think. But uh, it is actually better and best. So these kind of words are mainly uh, causing the, the irregularity. So these kind of words are called as irregular words. So the second issue or challenge is ambiguity. So what is mean by ambiguity? So ambiguity is nothing but the words which is having some multiple meanings. The spelling is uh, the same but uh, it will be having different meanings for the same word. So there are three kinds of ambiguities in this. So the first one is words and ambiguity. So what is mean by words and ambiguity? A particular word will be having different kind of meanings. Let, let's take bank as an example. So bank it will be having two different meanings. So first one banks come under some uh, money. Okay. Uh, and then... Uh, the other bank is river bank okay and another example is bat when you take that there will be two kinds of examples bat means it comes under animal a bird right and then another bat is nothing but cricket bat okay and then we will be having parts of speech ambiguity so what are, what is this parts of speech so for a particular word uh, the parts of speech of that particular word will be changing in different contexts so take the example so in the first sentence uh, run is preferred as verb and in second sentence the uh, run is changed to noun so this is nothing but parts of speech ambiguity. So structural ambiguity is nothing but so uh, if you take some particular sentence, you can't be writing that sentence uh, in one way, right? You can write in multiple ways, uh, which is portraying the same meaning for that. And then we will be having referential ambiguity. So reference is nothing but uh, instead of uh, uh, instead of referring a person by his name every time, you can actually refer him with pronouns. So what are these pronouns when it comes to a male? You can use as he or his and when it comes to a female you can use her or she okay and now the third one is productivity so what is mean by productivity productivity is nothing but um, it will generate some new words by taking some unknown word so let's take an example of this let's take an example now so according to wikipedia so google means one followed by hundred zeros so it is not google it is actually google Google means nothing but it is one followed by hundred zeros. So actually from this word they have derived this Google word. Okay. So at that time Google is some unknown word. It doesn't have any meaning. So by what they have done is by using some productivity rules. They have formed new words from this Google. So what are those new words? Googling, Googlish, Googleology are nothing but the new words which are formed by productivity rules. So when you take an example of names of people, organization or location. So location they will be having some uh, uh, words which does not have any meaning for that names. Right. So thereby productivity issue arises. Thank you. And if you really like my videos, please do subscribe to my channel. 